Hey there, health enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, your trusted source for health and wellness information. Today, we're delving deep into a serious topic. Can vomiting blood cause death? This might sound alarming, but don't worry. We're here to provide you with reliable, fact-based insights. So, let's get started. Now, vomiting blood, also known as hematemesis, is not a condition itself, but a symptom of many potential underlying conditions. It's caused by bleeding somewhere in your gastrointestinal tract, which can be the result of numerous medical issues. Some of these conditions can be relatively minor, like gastric inflammation or ulcers, but others can be quite severe, such as liver disease or cancer. Some drugs or alcohol can also cause this symptom, which is why it's crucial to get medical attention as soon as possible if you or someone else experiences this. Now, you might be wondering, can vomiting blood be fatal? Well, the answer is both yes and no. It largely depends on the cause and the severity of the bleeding. In most cases, it's not the vomiting of blood itself that's dangerous, but the condition causing it. The blood loss associated can lead to life-threatening complications, like shock if not treated promptly. Severe or prolonged bleeding can lead to anemia, weakness, and if unchecked, can indeed become life-threatening. So if you notice any symptoms such as bloody or dark vomit, fatigue, dizziness, shortness of breath, or pale skin, it's essential to seek medical help immediately. So what should you do if you or someone else starts vomiting blood? Firstly, try to stay calm. Rush the person to the nearest hospital and share as much information as possible about the person's medical history, current medications, and when the vomiting started. Remember, your doctor will conduct necessary tests to identify the cause and initiate the appropriate treatment. These could include a physical examination, lab tests, imaging studies, or even an endoscopy. In conclusion, vomiting blood can indeed be a serious sign, but it's the underlying condition that primarily determines the risk. So, always take this symptom very seriously. Seek immediate medical attention and follow your healthcare provider's advice.